Good evening. Hello, good evening. And it's been a long time. That was weird. So hello, good evening, guys. Uh, let me see how many of you are connected. Okay, we got like six people out of like 18 connected. That's great. So how is everything, guys? How have you been? How was your vacation? I don't know if you're still there. <laughs> let me see. Give me a second, guys. I'm just looking up and loading the attendance lab. Here it is. Let's see. Okay. That's in here. So how's everything, guys? How was your vacation? What you just did? Did you work? Uh, did you go out? So how's everything? Guys, are you there? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, I only have a couple of days of vacation, only Wednesday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But sorry, I only stay at home. I let me see. Uh, Saturday I went to the. Uh, let me see. Kaluku. Uh, oh, <laughs> I went. Okay. Yes, the day was wonderful because I went with my family together in another friends. Yeah, the weather was hot, but the. Uh, being in a river of rivers, the, the weather is becoming relaxing. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes, yesterday Sunday, yesterday I went to the sunset at the Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, I, the sunset park. Yeah, it was nice. Yes. I um, um, let me see. I take a lunch I eat and and the uh, uh, let me see and uh, malecon at malecon yeah mm -hmm. it was nice very very nice Sunday yesterday okay I mean oh. that's great that's great Daniel mm -hmm. yeah right it was not that much on vacation but you at least you 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 went out right that's cool that's great thank you for your participation what about you, Jaime? Hi, good evening, teacher and everyone. Um, I am on vacation. Uh, <laughs> I am on vacation. You're still on vacation? Right <laughs> yes, I have a vacation the, the, the first of 17th, April. <laughs> Ah, until the April 17th. Okay. I mean, yes, I present at work that next Monday. I mean, that's great. And yes, um, in this day, um, I have so many activities in the church. And yesterday we went um, at Guatemala with my family. And hmm. today we we went to the Cascade with Super. And yeah, that's good. That's it. That's it. Okay, at least you're enjoying part of your vacations, right? And that's cool, man. You're going to have all this week free. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> okay, and you're coming back the next Sunday. I mean, Monday. Oh, man, that's excellent. Monday. Okay, that's great, Jaime. Thank you for your participation. I'm just gonna go ahead with the attendance list and then we're gonna continue with the other ones, okay? Uh, let me see. 
Carmen Eugenia, is he here? Ah, yeah, she's there. Uh, Christian Alejandro. Present. All right, great. Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, nice. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, excellent. Edwin Alexander. Okay, so he's not here yet. Edwin Vladimir. I think Edwin is just getting connected. Present. Ah, okay, great. Estela Mabel. Fátima Adriana. Mm, all right, I guess Fatima is working. Fatima Lourdes. All right, so she's not here yet. Jaime Antonio. All right, so Jaime is there. Present, uh, present. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Good. Let me see. Carla Lisset. Hmm. All right, so Carla's not here yet. Kenia Cecilia. Present. Okay, good. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena, all right, so she's not here yet. Manuel Antonio. Okay, so Manuel is not here. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay, nice. Mary Raquel. Okay, so Mary's not here. Noemi Betsabe. No, okay, so just not here. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Good. So let's continue talking about what you, you were doing this past uh week. So Daisy, how about you, Daisy? How was everything on Holy Week? Did you go out? Did you have vacation? Good evening. Good evening. Yes, uh, I went to the beach with my family. Uh -huh. um, I participated in some religious activities. Ah, I mean, that's cool. and, and then I did general cleaning in my house. <laughs> Very cool. You dedicated your time to do the cleaning. Okay, that's excellent. That's yes. Really cool. All right. Only that. Okay, well, that's nice. That's nice. Thank you, Daisy. All right, let me You're see. Welcome. Okay. Gabby, what about you, Gabby? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Actually, I have the whole week uh, of vacation. So uh -huh. I spent with my family, also with my grandma. Unfortunately, she went to, um, she took her vacation in another country. So I just <laughs> saw her until Wednesday and she's still there. Um, uh -huh. I went to the beach, a taco, and also my family, well, my dad has a little piquin, pinquita, mm -hmm. a little like river and some fruits and uh, some fruits, um, trees uh -huh. and things like that. So I went there. Um, it was really good. And that's what, that was all my vacation. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. At least you got a, a, a different kind of routine, right? Okay. I mean, that's nice. <laughs> yes, I did. All right. Cool. Thank you, Gabby. Uh, Christian, what about you, Christian? Um, well, I had two days off last the weekend, but it was boring, at least for me, because I, I just stayed in my home and I work in my home, so it's the same for me. Uh, but at least I went to to my grandma, to visit my grandma, and also I went out to eat uh buffalo wing at least so that's all oh man okay good you mean you just had two days of vacation and that was it yep oh my god 
Okay. That was kind of heavy then for you. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, let me see who else is missing. Manuel. Hi, Manuel. Good to see you back. Oh, thank you. Good evening. How, how was your vacation? <sighs> and do do? click and clean my house. I visited my my parents, and one day um, we went to the uh, my parent my parent country house. Ah, okay. Uh, oh. They live in the countryside. Ah, uh, yeah, countryside. Con oh, con okay. No, countryside is that's how I come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. countryside. Okay, countryside. It's a good some some fruits, and I put uh, a piscina, uh, one piscina, <laughs> and my pool. Yeah, pool. Yeah, pool, pool. Sorry, and we we were we were play with my my nephews, my nieces, and my grandchild. I mean, that's great. Okay, you got a good one then. All right, perfect, Manuel. Thank you. Okay, let me see any other one, and it might be missing. Kenya, what about you, Kenya? Did you have some a couple of days off, or you remained working last week? I work two days only ah, in only the week. Ah, great. Yes. And Monday, I went to the beach with my mother and my family. Uh -huh. All day. And the other days, I went to, to buy some things for the house. Um, yes. Okay. I, I went to Dollar City. <laughs> I, I, I went to lose my time. <laughs> When you go to places like Dollar City, yes, you're, I, you're go, I go to visit all the how do you say pasillos? Oh, aisles. Aisles with a lot of time. <laughs> yes. Okay, well that's cool. Like when you go to places yeah. like that, you don't buy unnecessary things because when I go to El Dollar City, for example, I for sure buy unnecessary things that I consider that I need at the moment, but actually I don't need. Yes, I bought um, a book of Sudoku. Ah, okay. A little soup too. <laughs> yeah, I think that is for cook the, the vegetables. Ah, yes, to cut out the vegetables, okay. Was, yes, and and other things that I think that are necessary. Yes, but actually not right. <laughs> okay, no, okay. Yes, always I I I look very well. <laughs> oh come on, that's cool. That's cool. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we generally get emotional when when we go to places like I that. Say this not is not necessary for me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. That's cool. And I, oh. I, I, bye. Ah. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. cool. If, if it's necessary, I didn't buy. Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> Very good. Select uh, at selecting those kind of items. Then I don't believe me. I, I'm not really good at choosing. Uh, <laughs> the items. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, yeah. and the nails and. For the rest, I only rest at home. Okay, I mean, good. Just to recover, right? And start this week with all energy. Yes. But that is not true. But <laughs> I don't have energy. <laughs> I need a vacation of the vacations. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we need vacations right after the vacations. Yeah, I mean, it's like me. Ah. I'm tired, I'm tired, tired for real. <laughs> I, I, I have vacation after vacation. <laughs> yes, man. Only Jaime, luckily. 
because just imagine and he's on still on vacation he's uh finishing his vacations next sunday man you're lucky you're lucky definitely <laughs> that's great brother that's great all right so let me see who else is getting here carla are you there carla Hello, good evening. Hi, good yes. evening. How was your, your week, um, your holy week, actually, Carla? Well, I was working, <laughs> actually. And, but on Sundays, I went to the beach. I mean, last Sunday, I, I went to the beach with my mean, family. Okay, you mean yes or no? No, I mean, not yesterday, the sandal of last week. Oh, okay. Sunday. And yesterday, I just went to like a ranch, but I didn't went, I didn't go to the beach. I just was, I just went to this ranch of a friend and mm -hmm. spent there with my family. But the whole week I was, I was working actually, <laughs> but I, you know, I was eating mangoes and hocotes in honey i think and uh -huh. and eating fish as well so yeah <laughs> well that was good that was good for me okay i mean that's great okay i thought you you had vacation but since you're working in a private place right it's like call center right so that's why you don't have uh, days off yeah, I mean, it was like me. I had to work on weekends. Yeah, that sucks. But anyways, we need money, right? <laughs> That's cool. Let me see who else is missing. I think the last two people I am in. Stella. Hi, Stella. Yeah, Stella's missing. How did you spend your Hi. holiday, Good evening. Stella? Good evening. Okay, Good evening. Uh, I stayed in, at home because um, my husband works. Ah. Worked. Um, and I <clears throat> I just had uh, to had to uh, to wait for him. Um, mm -hmm. Just uh, any one day I we went. Uh, to the beach in the afternoon mm -hmm. and it was very funny because my daughter my little daughter uh, love loves the 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 i forgot the word but the the beach and it's uh, she enjoyed enjoyed the uh, when we we go to the beach Oh, okay, I mean that's cool. That's great. Okay. I mean that was that was nice. All right. At least you had one day to enjoy it at the beach. That's great to hear. And uh, what about you, Elwin? I think you're like the last one in here. Hey, hello. Good evening, everyone. Well, in my case, during during the week, uh, I was working on something else. Uh, mm -hmm. from my job so I just had uh, two day off uh, and it is very sad because I was expecting to enjoy the holy week but it couldn't happen oh, man. So just yeah two days off and that was it ah oh, Jesus yes sorry to hear that okay but anyways Work is work, as it, as it says, right? Okay, guys. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed. For the ones who are still on vacation, I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, but for the rest, right? So we came back to our work and just to start over again. Um, but before starting with the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight, guys, I would like to start making a short uh, feedback from what we were just, you know, like working on the last class, right? And uh, I don't know if you still remember what was, uh, you know, like the topic or what were like the 
aspects that we were discussing last class. Do you guys remember that? What were we doing last class? I know you're still on vacations mode sometimes, but something we got to remember from last class. Teacher. Yeah. I remember uh, we were on the exercise on page 30 and 31. Mm -hmm. And we started, started about how to use clauses with, mm -hmm. with when and if. Okay, great. Very good. If you remember, guys, those expressions started with when and if, they are basically called first conditional. All right. That's the proper noun that we... I uh, know these structures, but in that case, it was just like, you know, like classes with when and if to express future conditions, right? If you remember, right, we got two different classes in, in, in that kind of uh, structures. We have one in the when class or if class in simple present, and then the other one was in future, right? If you remember, guys, we used to have this app, these options. You got like the when, like this, when or if clause in simple present. I'm gonna share that in here. Plus. Main clause in future. Generally in future using will, if you remember. For example, we used to have when I, mm, what? When I finish the module, comma, I will sleep early. So you see, in this case, in the when clause, which means a condition, right? So in this case, I got the structure in simple present. The sentence is done in simple present. And then if you see, I got a comma over here. And then the next sentence over here, it's in future, okay? This is like a cost and effect. Let's put it this way, cost and effect, okay? And can we switch these sentences? Of course, we can switch them. How come? Like this. I will sleep early when I finish the module. So you see, in this case, we have switched the structures and the sentence and the meaning remains the same. The only difference is that when you set the one clause in the last part in the middle, so in this case, you don't have to separate both sentences with a comma. That's the only uh, difference, right? That in here, you don't have to set, okay? Um, both sentences with a comma. That's the only, the only difference that we might have between this ones, okay? And this is just with the one clause. We got another one with the if clause. Remember, expressing condition. If, listen. If, um, what? If I practice English, comma, I will become fluent. All right, so you see, if I practice English, I will become fluent. 
So in that case over here, I got a cost. The if clause is like the condition, the cost. And the main clause in here is the effect. And remember, this one is going to be in simple future. Can we say switched? These sentences like uh, in the when clause, yes, we can you, we can set them that way. For example, I will become fluent if I practice English. So you see, so we can change them that way and they are still working, right? So basically this was part of the statements and the grammar part that we were discussing last class, if you remember guys, all right? So this is, this is like the way how we were doing this couple of examples. Good. I don't know guys, if you have any question with this, something that probably is not like, uh, you know, like clear to you, or everything is okay. Do you guys understand this part? Do we understand how it works? Comprendemos cómo funciona? Okay. Since nobody says something, right? And I do really want to know if you have understood this one. Can you guys help me out with one example just to move on with the next topic? Could you please give me an example using when and one example using if? So in that case, with two examples, one using when and the other one using if. And when you have it, let me know and we can read it, okay? Write down, you can write them down in your notebooks. Write down two examples, one using when, and the other one using if. Remember that in that case, you're expressing conditions, okay? Let's go over that, guys. And let me know when you finish. If you have any question related to that, just turn on your microphone and let me know, okay? Just let me know. And when you finish, of course, just turn on your microphone and you can start reading what you have. Hi, Noemi. Good evening, mister. Good evening. Did you hear, uh, did you hear what I said, Noemi? I'm sorry? Did you hear what I said? No, I, in this moment, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. I we were just uh, providing feedback from last class, all right? I don't know, you, you were not in the last class, right? No, in the last class, I, I can't. You couldn't get connected. Okay, good. So in the last class, we were talking about this structure, all right? This structure is called first conditional. In this case are sentences in which we can create examples talking about what? About conditions. I was reviewing with your classmates that in this case, we got sentences in here that we can start with when or if, all right? And when you got the when or the if part, that sentence has to be in simple present. And the effect from this sentence, the main clause has to be in simple future, right? And we were providing a couple of examples, like in this case, when I finish the module, this is a condition. When I finish the module and you get a comma here, because every time you start one uh, sentence with when or if, 
you have to separate the next sentence with a comma, okay? When I finish the module, I will sleep early. This is like a form of condition, right? And you got the if clause. For example, if I practice English, I will become fluent. So you can say it this way. If I win the lottery, for example, what would you do, Noemi, if you win the lottery? I will buy a car. Okay, you see, I will buy a car. Now, can you switch those sentences? Yes, you can switch them. For example, I will buy a car if I win the lottery. But when you do it like this, and you start with the main clause, you don't need a comma in the middle, okay? Only when the sentence okay. starts with if, you can use a comma, like in this case over here, all right? Okay, okay. Another, another situation, for example, using when. When the class finishes, what will you do when the class finished, uh, Noemi? I, I, I will prepare um, I don't know how to say it, a lot of things for the school morning <laughs> for my daughter, but, but I, I for classes for for classes for my daughter. Okay, you see? When the class finishes, I will prepare a lot of class things for my daughter. So you see, this is like a kind of condition that you got. And you can say it the other way around. I will prepare a lot of class things for my daughter. When the class finishes, you see, you can set it this way and you don't need a comma there. So what your classmates are doing is just providing an example using when and an example using if, okay? So if you can one write- and one. Yeah, one and one. One using when oh, and okay. one using if, okay? That's what they are doing. Okay. There you go. Okay, excellent, thank you. All right, perfect. Let me know when you finish, guys. If you guys have finished, just let me know and you can turn on your microphone and start reading, okay? Finish, teacher. 
Okay, great. Oh, you got a point. Okay, good. First Gabby, then Noemi, and then Estela. Uh, when I learn how to do um, more complicated stuff at work, I will get a promotion. Okay, very good. And the other one? Uh, you have to be the same. Oh, well, I will get a promotion when I learn how to do uh, more complicated stuff. No, but that was using when, right? Yes. What about the one using if? Ah, uh, no, I have no property. Just give me a minute. Okay, good. Noemi? Noemi? Noemi, you there? I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, when finishes this year, my daughter will go to the high school. Mm, okay, when this year finishes? Really? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes, I, told, yes. I, told you, I told your daughter was a kid. Okay, okay, good. What about the other one? I'm sorry. Uh, another is, uh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, they, my internet is horrible today. <laughs> um, no I, I didn't listen to you. Um, another example is, if I do diet, I will lose some pounds. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, I'm on that situation as well. I wanna go on a diet, but it's impossible for me. <laughs> okay, good. <Yes. laughs> Thank you, Noemi. Good, Estela, let's read yours, Estela. Okay, sure. When I have vacation, I will stay at home. I will stay at home when I have vacation. Uh -huh. uh, vacations. Uh -huh. If I go to the beach, I will use sunscreen. I will use sunscreen if I go to the beach. Excellent. Thank you, Stella. All right. Perfect. All right. Everything was related to the vacations. <laughs> I will do examples like that because I'm still on kind of vacation mode, mode, but I'm working. Nice. Who's next? I finished teaching. Okay, Edwin, let's go. Okay. Just give me a sec. Okay. I will get earnings if I sell all my goods on time. All right. And the next one, when the TV show finishes, I will prepare to go to bed. I will prepare myself to go to bed. Okay, all right, makes sense. Thank you, Edwin. Very good, so who's next? Me, I finish. Okay, great. Okay, when I visit Peru, I will have a trip at Machu Picchu. Ah. I have a trip at Machu Picchu when I visit Peru. If I if I save a lot of money this year, I will buy a new car. I will buy a new car if I save a lot of money this year. Okay, good example. Thank you, Daniel. Good, good. Who's next? Okay, me. Okay, Jaime. Okay. The first example is. When when I have mo when I have money, I will buy it. Why buy at the supermarket? Mm -hmm. It will buy at the supermarket when I have money. All right. And the next is if I if I have free time, I will see a movie. I will see a movie if I have free time. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jaime. Okay. Next. Me teacher, I finish. Okay, Manuel, let's go. 
when I fix my car, we will go to the beach. We will go to the beach when I fix my car. Okay. If if I, if I have a bigger car, I will have to spend more in gas. I will have to spend more in gas if I have a bigger car. Okay, good, good. That was a good one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 uh, I'm on that situation that I want to change my car because I spend a lot of gasoline, and I and I'm planning to change it into a lower, you know, uh, and a smaller uh, engine. At least, por lo menos un uno punto dos. <laughs> It doesn't matter if the car is small, I will be better, way better, just to save the gas. Yeah, the, the car is necessary for the, the life. Super necessary, super necessary. Yeah. All right, thank you, Manuel. Thank you for your uh, participation. Who's next? Daisy, you finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. When I finish the class, I will prepare tomorrow's food. Okay, excellent. Uh, I will prepare tomorrow's food when I finish the class. Perfect, perfect. And next, uh, if I exercise frequently, I will have a healthier life. Ah, okay, healthier life. I will have I I will have a health healthier life if I <laughs> exercise frequently. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy. You're Let welcome. Who might be next? Kenya, do you have your examples, Kenya? Mm, okay. If I go to sleep early. I will go to the gym in the morning. Okay, good. Yes. If my daughter go to the kindergarten, I will go to the gym in the morning. <laughs> okay. If I mean, my uh -huh. go to the kindergarten, I will go work better. In the morning. Uh, okay, I mean that's nice. You know what? I I I am always in that plan since last year that I said myself, all right, I'm going to wake up at 4 45 and I will do a 30 minutes run, right? Like kind of doing exercise and everything before I go to work. But that's impossible. Man. Impossible. I set up the alarm at 4 45. And I am waking up with no lie, guys. I am waking up, I mean, standing up from bed at 5.30. Fi <laughs> That's so I got to run just to take a shower and live for my work. For real. It's, that's why I'm telling you, it's impossible for me to do exercise or any kind of exercise. It's like, once because I'm lazy and I don't want to wake up like so early in the morning. And I cannot in the afternoon because I finished working at six in the company I'm working. And then I had to come to my house. I, I what? I spent one hour traveling to my house. Then here I just come and take a, a kind of good rest, like what, 40, 45 minutes. And then I, you know, like set up everything for this class and everything. So I'm finishing at 10 and something. So I'm just tired when I finish classes in here and everything. So I won't have, I, I, I'm not going to have any kind of energy to do exercise. I'm just going to jump over my bed and that's it, man. <laughs> Prepare myself for the next day. So it's impossible. Yeah, but but it's necessary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it's really necessary. It's super necessary. I, I do really know that. For, for the stress. And exactly. And I do really know that I had to do exercise because it was on Friday. 
men that I run, I run for one block. And you know what? I was super tired, man. I was like, oh, like, like my breath was not, not, not working good. And I was like, oh, I do really need to do exercise. <laughs> oh my God. That's funny though. But I will find a way how to do exercise maybe later, later on in a couple of months. <laughs> Okay, well, well, that's good on you, Kenya. You can start jumping for five minutes. First, you jump one minute and then stop. Mm -hmm. For one minute, jumping. Only mm -hmm. five minutes. I will take your advice, even though I think I consider myself with 30 seconds, I will be with colicos. <laughs> But I will yeah, try be, before to go to take a shower. Ah, before taking a shower. Okay. I mean, that will be, if it is just five minutes, I have to wake up five minutes prior to that. Okay. I will try on. And let's see what's up. Only five minutes. Only five minutes. Oh, wow, yeah, that's cool. Good idea. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you. That was a good advice. I will see if I can start tomorrow doing that. <laughs> that would be sleeping and jumping, but sleeping. <laughs> I I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I me. Mean, let me know if I <laughs> remind me, and 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 I will tell you. Yeah, I mean I did it. <laughs> All right, Kenya. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Christian. Man, this Christian have have shown up very talkative tonight. Was that Christian? Uh hello. Hi. Uh well, when I finish my work, I will take a shower. Uh -huh. And if it rain, I can put my clothes out. Repeat that one, Christian. The last one. Yeah. If it rain, I can put my clothes out. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, so for for your clothes to wash itself or what? Yeah, for how do you say para secarse? No, but but literally you're saying that if it rains, you will put your clothes out. I mean. Si llueve, no, I, I say I say I can't. Ah, I I I didn't hear. I thought you were like like like. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Good. What was your missing, Gabby? You owe me one sentence. Um, uh, if my brother uses a little bit more his uh, brain, he will be able to recognize he has the best sister ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a cool example. Thank you, Gabby. <laughs> Man, how you discriminate your brother. <laughs> I love him. I really love him. But sometimes know, it's kind of funny, like be laughing about him. <laughs> I do really know about that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh let me see who's missing. Carla, did you participate already? Hmm. Hello. No. <laughs> no, I haven't. That's why you okay. were very quiet, right? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go. With when? Uh, when I learn to speak English well, I will mm -hmm. travel to several countries where this language is spoken. Okay. Good example. Yeah. And with if. If I dye my hair blonde, my skin will look whiter. <laughs> <laughs> what? My skin will look white, whiter, whiter. Uh, whiter. Uh -huh, whiter. White, your white skin? Yeah, I think I like I'm white, <laughs> but I can I kind of born with the about the sun, you know. <laughs> when mm -hmm. I went to the beach, I kind of born my skin. <laughs> But I'm white. I yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't, if you're white, you don't get tan, you get burnt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, okay. Good, good. Unfortunately, your camera doesn't work, so you will uh, show how you really are. I think you're doing that on purpose, Carla. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Was it another one? Let me see. No, I think everybody has already participated. So I'm gonna stop sharing this, guys. And let's go straight to, uh, who's sending this? Excellent. Okay, guys, now uh, I want we to go straight to the manual, specifically to page 32. Let's open up the page 32. And we're gonna go over, uh, you know, like uh, a short discussion on that. But since I know you guys, you won't be discussing this with me. You will hide yourself through your screens and you won't participate. So on that, or well, because of that, basically, we're gonna do as what we have been doing back in the past. Listen, I want we to discuss these questions that we got over here. This one's first, just to start. Now the topic that we're gonna be discussing is like provide safety measures related to different processes at a warehouse, right? So we're gonna continue talking about warehouses, right? But now we're gonna be talking about safety measures, right? What kind of measures you need to take into account when, you know, like uh, working on a, a warehouse. So I need a volunteer to read the uh, questions that we got over there. Can somebody help me on reading that part, please? The highlighted. I do. Okay, go. Thank you. So, uh, but uh, how do you pronounce the first word? Hazardous. Okay, hazardous materials and ma machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employees out of danger? What kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? Okay, guys, listen. Since you're kind of a special, and if I ask you right now, What's your opinion about this? What you will do is just turn off your cameras and you will disappear. So I prefer to send you to discuss this with your classmates. So you will feel more confident and everything. To start, what is hazardous? Do you understand this word? What's that? It's like thunder, dangerous. Exactly, it's a synonym. It's a synonym of dangerous, right? It's like dangerous materials, right? And machinery are always found in a warehouse. It says, "How?" This is like the questions I want you to discuss, guys. How do you keep your employees, if you're like the owner of a, you know, a warehouse, out of danger? What kind of measure would you follow up in order to keep your employees? out of danger. And it says, what kind of dangerous materials and chemicals may be found in a warehouse? All right, I want you to discuss these questions for a couple of minutes, guys, and then you are gonna come in here to the main section and you're gonna tell me what do you and your classmate have discussed in breakout rooms, okay? So that's what we're gonna do before standing up, reading that long, long, long article that we got about, you know, measurements. Okay, so I will go over and prepare some breakout rooms. So you can start working with this, guys. Remember, it's just for you to participate with your classmates. That's why I am assigning you with your classmates because that way you can practice a little bit more. Give me a second, guys.
Hmm. Okay, good. So let's go and discuss this in a breakout room for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna come back in here and you're gonna tell me what was your discussion with your classmates about and what you decided, okay? Good, let's just have to start the breakout rooms, please. Remember those two questions first. In the center, guys. It's everybody in here. Okay, the first question says, uh, how do you keep your employees out of danger? Remember that everything has to be focused on a warehouse, okay? Okay. Okay. In this case is a, uh, I don't know, uh, apply industrials. Security measures. Uh, okay. Well, I think that um, we have to focus in uh, in a training for the employees. The first one. First one, what do you think? Materials and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you well, your employees out of danger? In this case, uh, uh, sorry, because I'm close to the, to the part right now, <laughs> because in my house, no, because in my house, uh, the, the water is hot and it, no se aguanta estar ahí. I mean, okay, no problem. So, uh, my apology for that. Okay. Uh, well, well, if I have, uh, or if I were the owner of a company, first of all, I have, well, I will prepare my employees with a capacitation uh, from, uh, how do you pronounce those, that word, teacher, the first one? Hazardous? Hazardous, it means- uh, Dangerous. Dangerous, right? Dangerous. Mm -hmm. I will, I will capacitate them to, but in order to they have to know what to do in, something bad happened and other uh, uh, other alternative it could be a uh, sign signs in into in yes out maybe using uh, the how do you say the protection equipment protection the equipment like gloves, glasses, special glass. I don't know what else. Just uh, 
in in the in the in the department uh, <clears throat> chemical department they use uh, an special uh, I don't know how it's in in gloves uh -huh. and <clears throat> they use uh, mascarilla I, I forget the word mask and mask in in a special uh, glasses uh, and they use uh, anything like a gorro no. redesilla how do you say that i am not sure what are you talking about You mean you mean something something you need service. something like 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 a kind of blue that people use in a restaurant? That's a net. Yes. It's net. Net. Ah, okay. Net. They use that because they work with um uh, with food uh, to prepare in different uh, kind of food. Uh, or different kind of uh, substance uh, because but they uh, use whatever thing to protect him her their them or to protect the product okay okay what about the shoes? The, the other the other thing is necessary uh, to know to know uh, the the product the product chemistry and the the, the names the, the 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 name of the I don't know say. How do you say compuesto, compuesto químico? Es chemistry, chemistry que? Chemical teacher. composition, chemical composition. Uh, chem okay, chemistry, chemical composition for the product. Yes, <clears throat> but uh, normally the people know what kind of, of, of product is more dangerous in, in a warehouse, but it's important that the employees know the basic uh, the basic information. For example, um, I don't work directly in a warehouse, but uh, in my company, I receive some, some information, some basic information about the, the I don't um, uh, dangerous emergencies uh, every six months, but really I don't I don't manipulate any any emergency, but it's necessary to know about it. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Okay. When I, I I write the the uh, the report environment environmental impact is 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 always we we, we write is the how, how manipulation the the different the different ingredients in chemistry for uh, is necessary to put to put the co the color the color is, the color is the temperature. The, the color the color says is the 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 gray the the gray of, of the dangers the dangers and the temperature and the in the in the medicine and the medicine in ca in case for the for that em emergency mm -hmm. 
-hmm. alcohol uh, or other dangerous chemicals maybe I'm not sure but mm -hmm. I think <laughs> Com ah. poison <laughs> yeah poison <laughs> yeah I don't know if they use them but yeah Materiales radiactivos, algo así como, ¿cómo sería? Uh, radiactivos, ¿cómo se dice? Radiactivo. Radioactive. Um, radioactive. Radioactive. Material. Radi radio radioactive material. Radioactive mm -hmm. material. Materials. Yeah. Aeros. Aeros. Aerosoles. Ah, uh, yeah, they could be. Sprays, aerosol, sprays. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else. Area, for for example, in the construction area that we have in our company, maybe they they could have uh, any kind of this, any kind of danger. Yeah, because you need to use the equipment accordingly. Uh, the place, you can, you need to use a helmet, you need to use a glove, glove. Yes, in those cases, a uh, hamlet, uh, uh, the rhino shoes. The <laughs> pillar shoes, boat. <laughs> Yeah, those those ones, it and is, also, uh, esos son los eternos. <laughs> with you. Yeah, in, in your in your in, in your case, uh, I don't know if is any kind of this question will happen in your company or at your. Yep. Uh, in my case, in my company, uh, we we have. Uh, yes. <clears throat> yes, but they have all that. They use masks too for the for the smoke. No, the smoke. I, Produce, yes, then they use masks, glasses, special clothes, special shoes, all all kind they can they can have shape, barba. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, because it's dangerous for the for the fire. Okay. Yes, and the smoke is is for me like a, a time of of chemical yes chemicals because they they produce a smoke with different kind of items I, I don't know but for, for me that is not <laughs> healthy smell that okay. yes it's it's really dangerous that industry for me 
And another yes. as in a company that make estampados. I don't know how do you the is but but in this case it's different because it's a certification about the the services can you can you provide to in different places because in this case is uh, is is similar but for services specific logistic services oh yeah it's a it's a first sign it's a first time listen to to the certification for the logistics but i yes. i but i don't I, I don't i don't have i don't have working in in, in security in industrial, industrial security and and 10 years ago i had i, I was working in la Geo. And I have, I, mm. I working in, I was working in, in environmental and security industrial, but, uh, but is security industrial is the other person always working. Uh, but mm. uh, in, in this case, it's only a, a, a staff you, you use the grasses, uh, both, uh, uh, both, both, yeah, yeah, both. And, yes, and yes, it's different and, situation. Yes, but, but, but you, you, you have it in logistics. Yes, it's in logistics. Uh, uh, the certification that is like a commerce, commerce certification, really. Business Alliance for Secure Commerce, say. As last time here. Mm -hmm. Shit. 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 <sighs> There you go, guys. Uh, right. You think you have already finished discussing the questions? Yeah, I think that we have some examples. <laughs> okay, I think with those examples, we can stay up and then we're gonna okay. go back because I don't really wanna listen to you guys, okay? Okay. Nice. Thank you. All right, so I guess everybody's just coming up. All right, to the main section. Now, guys, I wanna listen to you what you were discussing with your classmates. And I'm gonna start with Edwin and Daniel. Okay. Yes, Edwin, I'm gonna share with you. It didn't be this play. <laughs> uh -huh. the question. The play very complete. Well, I will read the Edwin and you give the give no password. Okay, fine. Hazard is the how did the pronunciation of this word teacher? Hazard those? Hazard Hazardous material and machinery are always found in a warehouse. How do you keep your employee of dangers? Uh, well, in, 
in this case, uh, a way that I will have to make uh, my employees out of danger is to is capacitate them, capacitate them, because uh, they have to know the right knowledge to. Uh, how do you say uh, manipular man, 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 to manipulate mm -hmm. uh, the the materials uh, or, or the machinery that we have in the warehouse uh, another way it could be uh, creating the right uh, uh, the right signs in in the in the in the warehouse that it could be another way to to avoid uh, any kind of danger in, uh, in the warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is it necessary to prepare every, uh, all employees depending of, uh, depending of the uh, business that we have? The, is it necessary to have a lot of knowledge about how to manipulate the materials uh, Machinery accordingly to the place. The second one question is What kind of dangerous material and chemical may be found in a warehouse? In this case, depending of the, the building, depending of the place, for example, if you are working in a pharmacy or in a laboratory, you can find different toxic material. Yeah. For example, alcohol, because it's flammable material, mm -hmm. we need to prepare our, our the employees how to manipulate these products. Uh, if you are working in uh, another laboratory that using hypochlorite of sodium, for example, it's very necessary because it is, uh, it's, you need to be a manipulated specialist manipulation uh, this material because it's very dangerous. Uh, you need use it. Uh, let me see. Use the equipment accordingly of the product you are manipulate. Okay, great. Perfect, perfect. So that was part of the all right what you were like discussing you Bob. Thank you Daniel and thank you Edwin. You did it excellent. Now. Help me out choosing one person to be the next one, please. Edwin, you select. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Estela Mabel, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Give me a moment. You were working with mm. Carla? With Jaime. And Carla. And Carla, right. Yes. Okay, good. Let's go as you were practicing. Me. Okay. Oh, I was uh, in, in, the, in this case, uh, teacher, and um, we, we talk about. I'm the, sorry. Uh, Mabel and me, uh, we don't work with the 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 um, sorry dangerous material and, and chemical because um, I work in a school and I don't have uh, experience about this this topic and. Carl, um, sorry, no, it's Carla, it's Kenya, sorry. It's Kenya. In, in Kenya, yeah, she, she has uh, experience about this topic. Oh, wow, okay, it sounds good. All right. Yes, I'm working um, a service company because uh -huh. I am a actor. But I can I can see in the different clients they have different industries, and I I can see the the productions for that companies. Then I I don't have materials and I don't have machinery, but I know 
how do you keep your employees out of dangers? Yes, for example, use protection equipment mm -hmm. like, and like special gloves, special glasses. You can use uh, a face mask. Um, I don't know, maybe a special clothes if you work with fire. And if you work with balls and is a, a heavy weight, you can use a special shoes that have iron in the point of the protect you, your knee. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the pendle that they the company and depending of the product and with the machines the most important point for me is that the employees have trainings oh, okay. that all the machine have to use mm -hmm. because if they don't know how to use the machine or what kind of of things they they can do with the machines are could be a problem. Yes. Oh, good, good. The things are the, the condition of the of the person that use the, the machines. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies say that that the persons can be drunk when use the machines because it's dangerous mm -hmm. on in a there are companies you can is, is smoke in the place of the work because maybe you you work with uh, chemicals and they can make a a fire uh -huh. and that that is all. Okay, I mean that's great. That's great. Thank you, Kenya. Good. Besides, a uh, Kenya Jaime. All right, who was the other one? Uh, Stella, right? Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So basically, you have summed up everything you were discussing, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Gabby, Noemi, and uh, Manuel, I think. Yes. Mm. How do you? keep your employees out of danger. Basically, I know that the, the dangerous materials have, uh, must be leveling because Wait. when the, because when the, the, the product have uh, a chemical, it's necessary to identify them. Mm -hmm. um, Another point is uh, the employees, uh, they, they have to know basically information about the product uh, mm -hmm. for the manipulator. Um, um, and the third one, I think is the, the, the company have to provide the equipment necessary for for um, for manipulate the product. Okay. Um, uh, about the second question, what kind of dangerous materials and chemical may be found in a warehouse? Um, really, uh, we can find uh, a lot of product that the dangerous materials. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, it's not necessary to have a warehouse for, for products. For example, in your company, if you have a printer, the, the ink for the cartucho, I don't know how they say cartucho. Cartridge. I don't remember. Cartridge. Cartridge for, for the printer is dangerous, for example. Mm -hmm. um, or for example, another can be the detergent for the people that they can clean the, the company or maybe when they have a, 
um, a place that they prepare food, for example, the gas is is a, is a dangerous material. Mm -hmm. But in a warehouse, uh, we can find different kind of of products. I think, um, for example, some products for for serigraphy. I don't know. Uh, oh, what exists? Serigraphia. I don't know how they say is for for print in the in the clothes. Print some some images or layer in the clothes. Well, what was the name of it? That's the first uh, time I heard a word like that. Serigraphia. <laughs> serigraphia. Serigraphia. Sí, serigraphia. I'm gonna look at it. What is that about? Son los que es yes en la roca. Yes. Is it, is it like a stamp? Yes. Ah, the process of a stamping something uh, on a cloth. Okay. Yes. Fabric yes. basically. Yes. Okay. Um, but really, we we can find a different kind of danger of products. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, some less dangerous than another mm -hmm. but but in in your house you can you can find some dangerous products for example for your baby the danger the the that gem or the uh -huh. veg, i don't know how they say bleach. How they say. bleach 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 okay um I, I, uh, different different um Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That was cool. Man. That was interesting. It's written like this bleach. Yes. Leslie here. Yeah. Okay, good. Something else to add, Manuel and Gary, to what uh, your classmate said? Um, well, she said almost everything. And probably of my part, uh, the companies like an application they have to provide uh guides and also una um ay se me olvidó la palabra <laughs> what como se dice capacitación training ah uh, yeah they have to provide a training for um what to do in case of a fire or or a swear or just in case uh, or if they see smoke or something like that just to prevent that an accident go like further or have a, a death inside the warehouse or something like that mm -hmm. and also provide the protection the um personal protection uh -huh. just in case if that happened and well you could we can find almost everything in the warehouse uh, that could be dangerous Oh, yeah, I mean, okay, all right, good, good. <laughs> Manuel, something else to add, Manuel? Um, Noemi and Gabby says, oh. <laughs> but, 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 but it's, it's, re, it's really important to, to, to separate in different products. And for example, explosive, inflammate, and it's necessary to have a, a different warehouse in the probe uh, to have a level and different information. For, for example, uh, um, it's necessary uh, to know is the color, the color say, say is, is the, 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 the gray of the toxicity or the gray for, for the danger. Is mm -hmm. the the temperature the, the temperature the temperature can 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 stay stay the, the, the different probe and for in in Salvador is necessary for law uh, the different company have to, to have a a committee uh, industrial safety committee comité de seguridad industrial industrial safety Safety committee. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, it's necessary to have 
a company, the, the company to have a, a one committee in South Century and the different products have a, a, a level uh, with the different information and mm -hmm. in the separate in the separate and uh, the the products. Mm -hmm. oh, Only okay. that. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you. Thank you, Noemi. You did it excellent. All right, there you go. Following up with the last participation of groups. I'm talking about Christian, Carla, and uh, and 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 Daisy. Daisy, right? Ah, Daisy. I am in Daisy hasn't participated yet. Okay, good. I want to listen to you guys. Okay. Um, with the first question, mm -hmm. uh, we think that, uh, like my other partner said, uh, some of well, all the employees can make a uh, training so that they can that can know how to operate the machinery. Uh -huh. uh, also, they can make um, a routine maintenance for all the equipment. Uh, and the second question, uh, well, I, I don't, I don't know what kind of uh, chemicals we can um, um, we can save in a warehouse, but uh, I search about it, and I think we can find some flame or liquids and gases too, and I think that explosive materials are. Uh, can be in the in a warehouse, for example, with like uh, fireworks, maybe. So uh, that's all. Okay. All right. Thank you, Christian. Uh, Daisy, something else to add? Okay. In the in the first questions, uh, we think uh, is important the may make sure. Employees use uh, personal protection, for example, the use of glasses, okay. uh, gloves, masks, health phones, health phones, uh, special shoes, and other. Uh, is very important uh, for employees. All employees mm -hmm. apply industrial security measures. Uh -huh. uh, in the second questions, um, for example, the of uh, materials, cutters, knives, scissors, pallets, sheets, and another. <laughs> You know, there's okay. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, Daisy, for your participation. It was very accurate. Good. What's the other one? Carla, right? Carla, yes. Yeah. Um first with the first question. Uh yeah, as we said, maybe other idea is that we can see if the machinery and the materials used mm -hmm. uh, if they are in good conditions, for example, that they are not like rusty or that they don't have parts missing or something like that. Mm -hmm. Because I think that those uh, those things can like hurt people or something. And as Daisy said, maybe uh, prepare the employees with instruments that they like cannot be affected by like hazardous materials such as chemicals for example like gloves or um, glasses or gabachas to protect themselves and if like they are dangerous machinery or sharp materials perhaps as christian said the train some people or some employees like to know how to correctly use that type of machinery maybe <laughs> and with the with the second with the second question uh we discussed that maybe we can find knives or like big slicers to like could meet or something mm -hmm. um maybe 
scissors, pallets that they Daisy said. Um, and maybe fuel as chemicals oh. or radioactive materials or sprays or something. And as Christian said, like gases or explosives or fireworks or something. Mm -hmm. And those things. Okay, yes. well, that's great. That's great. Very accurate what you said. All right. Thank you for everybody, guys. All right, sharing uh, what you guys have been discussing. You see, it's really productive when you go over the breakout rooms and let's work together because you feel a little bit free being there, right? And not like with a lot of pressure in here, ah, in front of me. Okay, guys, that was related to the first few questions. Now, what you're gonna do, guys, listen. We're gonna keep up working the same way as you have been doing. And now I want something completely different, guys. I want you to read this article with your classmates on the breakout rooms, okay? And these ones are just some measures, you know, measures that you call a start implementing with your team. This is a series of uh, measures that you can implement with your team in your workplace, okay? If you got a warehouse as, a, as you know, uh, the place that you work. So we're gonna read all the information in here. Once you have read all these, I want you to go straight to the exercise three. What do you, oh, what are you going to do in here? It says you got some categories. Look, you got general housekeeping, you got false and other preventable mishaps. That word is mishap. Have you ever heard that word before, mishaps? No? Okay, a mishap, it means percances, all right? Percances or contratiempos, right? That, that's the meaning of that word, mishaps, okay? Manual lifting, you know what is that, right? Something that you can lift with your hands. And the other one, you got forklift and material handling equi equipment. Uh, in the case of Gabby, do you remember what is a forklift? I remember you were talking, you were asking about that uh, once we were working in a uh, right car room. Forklift is like montacargas, right? Those little cars that you can lift uh, packages, right, and put them on the trailers or get enough trailers uh, with loads, all right? That's that's uh, forklift. Okay, so you got forklifts and material handling equipment. So what you're gonna do in here, guys, what you're going to do is like, select this series of measures and classify them in here, okay? What you're going to do is just to set up the, the, the literals. A goes in this category, the B goes in here, the C goes over here, okay, and so on. That's what you're going to do in this part over here, okay? Just to set the, the, the letter, all right? The letter, okay? Just to classify them. But before doing that, I do really need you to read, okay? Read this as a group. And if you have any question, I will be jumping over uh, the breakout rooms. And if you have any question with the vocabulary there or something that you don't understand, you let me know, okay? That's what we're going to do. Do you guys understand? What are we going to do? Any question before we go? Perfect, everything okay. Now I'm gonna stop sharing in here and let's go to do the last activity, okay? Good, let's open up the breakout rooms, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's go there.
Mm, okay, let me see. Everybody's got just got connected. Perfect. Housekeeping. You can read it. What you can do, guys, is just to choose one person to read carefully, and the rest can follow up the reading. And if you have any unknown words, you can uh, write it down over there for everybody to, you know, check the word and then understand in a better way. I think that will be suitable for you, okay? Okay. Great, guys. What you can do is like uh, choose one person to read the, the, the information that you got there, guys. And uh, if you have any acknowledged word or a word that you probably don't know, what you can do is like uh, let me know through a request, the request button, or discuss all right, the word with, uh, with your partner. So you can do that so you both can have a sequence, okay? Probably Daniel might start reading and then you can give the space to Edwin and, and back and forth. Okay. Nice. Okay, uh, Edwin, can you see the screen? Edwin. Make sure. In the general horse housekeeping, falls another present table, Mish, my, oh, I don't know how do you pronounce that, Mishap? Which one? Mishaps. Uh, sure. I, you, 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 ah, mishap, mishap. Mishap, mishaps, mishap. uh, manual listing. Mm -hmm. What was mishap? For, for life? No, no. Uh, we are going. We we were reading. Ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> we have to read the, the segment the in number two. Yes. Make, the, uh, for example, like, make sure uh, that garbage and debris beans are available uh, available uh, throughout the warehouse where is the classification for that for example general housekeeping mm -hmm. i think so too Okay, then up uh, the little B block access to expose or open loading ducks doors. Holes mm. and other frequently. Mm, so. Maybe I, I, I think. How's everything going, guys? Uh, have you read that article? Or are you reading individually? Yes, and then we are going to compare. Okay, all right. It's up to you. Any word that probably, guys, you don't understand until here? <laughs> um... I think in the letter A, when you have debris, debris, debris thing. Ah, uh, in that case, it's debris, debris with no S. Okay. Uh, 
Devry means Make escombros. Ah. Mm -hmm. It's like escombros. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, you got 10 minutes to do it, okay? Okay. All right, nice. Okay. Letter B. Letter, letter D. Letter D. Mm -hmm. Any work that you might have troubles with in that article, guys? Well, everything is okay until here. Oh. Uh, what is the meaning of debris? Let me see. Let me check. No, actually, it's debris. Debris with no S. Oh, okay. Debris, oh, means, debris means escombros. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay, thanks. You got another one, Carla? Uh, to ask or? Mm -hmm. mm, I was looking for, <laughs> I think. No, I think I, I don't have. Mm. That was the only one. <laughs> ah, okay. Let me see. I'm going to check on it. I think the letter F is for the for the last box last box for forklift uh -huh. and material handling equipment. Equipment. Okay. Letter F. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Mm. Let. Well, see, let us see. What the category is called be? I think I will be for for belief and material handling equipment. I think. What do you think, Edwin? Or general housekeepers? No, I don't think so. It's in the last one. The last, the last one. Yeah, four lifts in material handling equipment. Uh, e. Letter F. Is the load before lifting it? Is to hear or will get help? Mm, that, that it could be a manual lifting. Manual lifting. Current table move cups. Yes, because if you have a miss, you can have a accident. Okay. Prevent. Everything okay, guys? Any word that you probably have troubles with? We, for the moment, we try to <laughs> to looking for. Ah, the, we, we have class, the, class, classific. Uh -huh. You mean classifically the literals to the. To the number three exercise? That's what you're doing? 
Yes. Yes. Nice, nice. We'll finish. No. Perfect, perfect. So just give me one second. I'm, I'm just going to go for water. and I'm coming back. Give me a second. But the last, it can be forklift and material handling kit equipment. The little H. Yes. Is the only one, the last. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we finish. Okay. Okay. Solo que le puse el de lenguaje de Alfaz, porque ese es el para que se escuche. Gracias. So your dog guys. We did it. Yes. <clears throat> Excellent. So I'm gonna check them on another uh, group. So if they have already finished, we're gonna go back to the main section, okay? Okay. Perfect. You're done, guys? Not yet. Ah, okay. And the question what, what kind of business do you have? It's a food business. Food, uh, like, uh, uh, like a pupuseria, no? <laughs> or cafeteria? Edwin, do you have a cafeteria? Yes, it, it could be like that, a cafeteria, like in Spanish, a comedor. Comedor. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, so we have to to prepare food in, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. Prepare a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> this sounds is go. <laughs> it didn't say that he's a, they have a, a, a business, familiar business. A family they, business? They, yes, oh. but they don't have a don't have, don't have a vacation, don't have a vacation because he was working all weekend the business. But yeah. they earned a lot of money in this weekend because the food, everybody eat, everybody eat all day. At different yeah, man, that's true, that's true. In businesses like that, you don't generally have a day off or you got vacations because you gotta be there selling. 
but actually those those days like like this past holy week they are very uh i don't say this it was very cruel people <laughs> yeah beneficials because people yeah i mean get, you you can get crowded in the place yeah it was almost in in on friday on friday because uh, people were uh, was uh, people were was or were teaching where where right people were looking for food uh, like uh, they were crazy because they were in a hurry uh -huh. and and i don't know people in that day were like uh, uh if they don't have <laughs> any any kind of time but they want the the food faster uh, give me give me that like and um, like faster like faster i don't yeah, know what yeah. happened with people in that day <laughs> no but, but that, was, were, that was good and beneficial to your place yes but it was very very tired yeah very tiring but you know i mean a business like that that's that's what you really focus on on selling a lot of things oh man that's nice that's nice but you got it downtown uh uh Oh, 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 where is your 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 business located, Edwin? Edwin, you there? Yes, it's in the in the center in the center of ah, my city. That, downtown. Think. Downtown, yes. Ah, oh, man, so it must have a good location then. Okay. Mm. Yes, it has a good location because uh, it's a, like a fam family business uh, uh, between generation or generation, just oh, like that. That's nice. That's that's really cool, then. They have a lot yes. of clients. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, that's great. That's really cool. All right. Uh, have you finished uh, choosing up the, the classifications of literals? Yes, yeah. Nice, nice. Let's go into the main section and check what you've got, okay? Okay. See you there, guys. Jesus Christ, what happened with the other ones? <laughs> All right, guys, so you're coming back. All right, so let's 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 read this before we go out of the session. Okay, good. And for this, I want Kenya. Could you please help me out starting reading the the article, please, from the better beginning in here? Read only the highlighted part. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go more to warehouse safety than obedience to fear calls and safety regulations. Unfortunately, too many warehouse and 3PLs look at self safety as meeting the minimum, the minimum mm -hmm. by the law and their conscience. In the long okay, stay there. All right, thank you, thank you. I need uh, okay. uh, more people to to practice in here. All right, Daisy, go on, Daisy. Thank you, Kenya. The highlighted part, Daisy. Okay. In the long run, however, a safe warehouse environment delivers important cost savings through. Uh -huh. higher employee satisfaction and increased product 
productivity. Fewer workplace disruptions and reduce abstains, abs, uh, abs I don't know, absenteeism. and equipment. Sorry? Absenteeism. Absenteeism and equipment downtime. Okay, good. Stay there. You know what is absenteeism, people? What is that? That means uh, when you don't do it, something um, because uh, you don't don't want. Example, um, I accent teams uh, for the award, for example. Mm, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, an absenteeism is like. When you don't generally do your work, right? Because you're skipping something. Okay, thank you, uh, Estela. Good. And downtime, what, what is downtime, guys? Lost down time, maybe. Ah? When the people lose time. Exactly, right? Energy. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, and you're missing the time, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's downtown. Look, falta de tiempo, right? Good. Now, uh, no, 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 no. Let me see. Jaime, help me reading this part, the highlighted part, please. Okay. Uh, don't expect don't expect employees to start with the culture of of safety at work. Establishing a safety culture include the necessary op opera operational change and training and education programs. I start with you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, Manuel, this part, Manuel, this area. Manuel, are you there? Manuel, <laughs> you're mute, Manuel. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Um, okay. The following are some measures you couldn't start implement with your team. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Daniel, read A, Daniel. And then you're gonna tell me in which category from the exercise three you set this literal, okay? Okay. Go, Mister. Make it make it sure that garbage and debris bins are available throughout the warehouse. Good. This this letter is in general housekeeping. All right, guys. Do you have the same as him in uh, general housekeeping? This literal. Yes. 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 All right. Perfect. Yeah, I man. It's an, a general housekeeping. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, now the next one, Elwin, help me a reading B, please. Edwin Vladimir. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I was here, but on my that's it. Okay, a uh, block access to exposed or open loading dock, dock doors. Dock doors, uh, all right. In which category you set up that one? Uh, I put it in the in the chart that it says false and other preventable mishap. Okay, guys, do you share the same the same category as him? Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's the category. Thank you, Edwin. Good. Now, Gabby, read Z. Um, keep aisles and pass, pass, pass just ways clear at all times. Okay. And I put it twice 
and general housekeeping and falls and other preventable mishaps because I wasn't sure it was in one box. It says keep aisles and pass passageways clear Passage at all okay. times. And you put it in false and other preventable mischief? Yes, and the in two boxes. Besides that one, in which other one? Uh, general housekeeping and false and other preventable mishaps. Mm. But since it says keep None of them. <laughs> clear, clear at all times. What about forklift and material handling equipment? Why not there? You got a microphone off, Gabby. Uh, because I put it like in the first two ones because um the how general housekeeping is like uh keeping keep everything in organized in an order, and the other one to prevent any uh como se dice caída? How do you say caída? All? Otro piezo? Yeah, to prevent any fall. All right. But I didn't I didn't think about fork labels. All right. It can be said in two ways, as in falsing other preventable mishaps or forklift and materials handling equipment. Because in this case, it's talking about moving the spaces, right? So you generally keep everything clean, I mean and clear. Where? Throughout the aisles, right? So in the aisles, you can do that. All right, so it goes also in this category. Okay, good. Now, um, Noemi, the next one. Um, keep your back straight on being over. In mm -hmm. this case, um, we have a difference with the partner. Um, Okay. Uh, I put in the general housekeeping mm -hmm. and they say me that it's in the manual lifting. I'm not sure really. <laughs> Actually, it's in the manual lifting because you're talking about if you're having your back straight, it's because you're lifting products, right? So actually your classmates were right. <laughs> He's in that category. Okay. Okay. There you go. okay, perfect. Manual lifting. Good. Now the next one. Carla. <clears throat> okay. Um, teach employees to push manual material handling equipment whenever possible rather than pull loads. Okay, and um, which one would you choose that one? In the third box, manual lifting. Are you sure? Mm, no. <laughs> uh, because of it, it says... Uh, Manual yes. material handling equipment. Manual material handling, uh-huh. It gives you the key there. Can you think yeah. Of it? Uh, uh, yeah, but it says manual. <laughs> That's right. It's like in here for cliff and material yeah. handling. Yeah. Handling, you know what is handling, right? Like, like you can keep on it. Handling. So that handling yeah. equipment whenever possible rather than that pulls loads. So in this case, it's talking about what? To teach employees to push manual materials handling equipment whenever possible. It means that it's teaching the employees how to use tools right and not everything and not everything lifting by hands right so in that case it goes in in this category park lifts and uh, materials handling equipment okay okay there you go carla nice uh let me see who's missing uh, to help me out with these christian read the next one please uh there's a lot before lifting it if it is too heavy or bulky, get help. Good, get help. In which category do you consider this one is? Um, we think 
that is in for lifts and material handling equipment, but I think can be in manual lifting. Actually, it's in manual lifting because you're doing it with your hands, right? Mm -hmm. And if you if you think it's heavy, so you can ask for help, right? So in this case, it's manual lifting that category, okay? Nice. Daniel. Daniel, are you there? Okay, sorry. Uh, little Jim. Uh -huh. <laughs> Keep dogs and floor free of boxes, garbage boxes, valleys, material, debris, dirt, and oil. Uh -huh. Category is fall and other preventable mishaps. In other preventable mishaps, are you sure? Keep dogs and floors free of boxes, garbage boxes, handling materials, uh, bailing materials actually, uh, debris. There may be another thing you get general housekeeping too. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one that goes there, right? <laughs> the general housekeeping. Excellent. Good. Kenya, help me read in the last one. Okay. Permit access to avoid floor rats and shelves okay. only mm -hmm. if portable leathers or appropriate lifting device are available. 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 Okay. In which category do you think it, it, it goes this one? For leaf and material handling equipment. Do you guys agree with her? Just for me. What about the other ones? This is the last one, guys. Do you agree with uh, Kenya and uh, Daniel? Permit access to above floor racks and shelves only if portable leathers or appropriate lifting device are available. On which category uh, will you set up those ones? For lift in materials handling and equipment? Yes or no, guys? That's all I want. I think I yes. I think yes, but I think it can be in the for in the box number two. I'm agree with Christian. I put it twice. Holes and uh, other preventable mishaps. Yes, but probably neither are, are right. <laughs> actually, 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 that's 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 the category that it goes. This one, Kenya and Daniel, in uh, falls and other preventable mishaps. Because in this case, the the products, the packages are left in on the shelves and everything. So it says that uh, you can have access every single time that you got the adequate uh, equipment. In this case, like appropriate lift and devices are available. So in this case, uh, used to avoid any fall, right? Or any kind of what? Mishaps, okay? So it goes on the second category, okay? Great guys. So until tonight, we have basically uh, been talking about warehouse items and everything. So by tomorrow, we're gonna start up the last week, apparently, because today with this with this class, we are finishing week number uh, four. Okay. So tomorrow we're gonna start up week number five. And uh, if everything goes okay, on Monday, we're going to finish this module, okay? So 
uh, I will suggest you guys to keep on working with the homeworks in the platform, okay? So by Monday, I want everything to be ready, okay? Uh, and with no any kind of, you know, like behind homework for you guys, okay? Good, I'm just gonna go ahead and pass the attendance list and that's gonna be everything that we're gonna be doing, okay? Because it's like late, guys. Sorry about the, the, the late time. Uh, let me see, Carmen Eugenia, it was there. Cristian Alejandro. Present. Great, Daniel Arquimides. Present. Nice, Daisy Marisela. Present. Okay, great. Edwin Alexander, or is he didn't show up tonight? Edwin Vladimir. Present. Great. Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Nice. Fatima Adriana. All right. So Fatima, yeah, it was there, but she didn't participate that much. Uh, Fatima Lourdes, she didn't get connected. Jaime Antonio. Present. Great. Eduardo Jose, he didn't show up anymore. Carla Lisset. Hey, teacher. All right, nice. Kenya Cecilia. Okay, great. Lorena Beatriz. Lorena didn't show up tonight. Manuel Antonio. Present, teacher. Great. Maria Gabriela. Present. Excellent. Mary Raquel didn't get connected. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, great. And the last one has been Alexis. Uh, that I thought he was busy. That's why he got disconnected and couldn't participate. Thank you for uh, staying up late uh, tonight, guys. See you tomorrow, okay? Starting the next week. Last one. Good night, everybody. Bye bye, Good night. everybody. Take care. Good night. Good night. All right, so that was everything for tonight. Uh, I stayed with the students a little bit late, right, than normal. So that's why we didn't choose anyone to, to stay up late because we were like just checking the, the, the homework that they were doing. So see you in the next class.